and welcome to Beads Jar. My name is Billy, and in today's fabulous tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can make this beautiful dragon scale bead amulet. I hope you enjoy the project. To make our fabulous amulet pendant, we're going to be using the 2mm Druk beads, these are the Jet Californian. We've got our silver galvanised size 15 seed beads, the dragon scale beads which are actually gold and silver so one side has one colour and the other the other colour, size 15 galvanised yellow seed beads and the other materials we've got a fine link 16 inch silver chain, 2 inch eye pins and 4mm jump rings. Tool wise I've got side cutters, flat nose pliers and my round nose pliers. Nice and straightforward to start I'm just going to pick up one of the two inch head pins and I'm going to thread 27 of my Mayuki size 15s. So just straight on to the eye pin. With a funny hole, let's just swap that. And I'm just going to check that I have the 27 that I wanted. So, five. I'm now going to create another loop on the opposite side of my head pin. In order to do this I'm going to place the beads facing down towards my bead mat and I'm going to take away a finger's width from the beads to the top of the head pin with my side cutters. It's really important in this project that our loops when we create them are all facing the same way. To do this I'm going to hold the eye pin so that the loop of the eye pin is side on for my view so I can't see the loop. I'm then going to use a pair of round nose pliers and I'm going to place these round nose pliers on the very tip of the top of the eye pin. So it's just twisted a little, I just want to make sure I've really got the side view of that bottom. With my grip nice and secure with my right hand, I'm then going to use my thumb and I'm going to roll the pin down. So I've just released the grip and I'm just rolling until I've met the beads. Twist that back just a fraction so it's sat correctly and that will give me the finished effect I want. So both the loops are in line with each other. We're going to repeat that with one row of 27 silver beads. So we'll just do 27 of the Mayukis on another head pin. This is going to create the top and bottom row on my amulet. So I've just pre-counted my beads to make that easier for me. Whichever works for you is fine. I'll show you that process one more time. So I'm making sure the loop of my eye pin is parallel. The beads are at the bottom next to the loop and I'm going to take a finger's width off the top there. So from the seed beads to the top of the head pin. Just out by a little bit there. So I place my pliers on the top of the eye pin. Make sure I've still got that parallel. And then I'm going to roll the pin down. I'm just rolling and when I can't move my wrist I'm just releasing the grip and then rolling it down towards the beads 
and then I just give that one final tweak back so that they're both sat in the right direction. So I've got my top and bottom of my amulet and now we're going to move on to the middle sections. So again, keep going with your eye pins. We're going to do two rows um, in each. So we've got one row that will have silver going one direction and one row with gold and we want two of each of those. So if I decide to do my silver um, dragon scale row, I'm going to place one silver bead and I want all, so I've picked that up with the silver side facing towards me. I'm picking another silver and the silver side facing me again. So if I show you now, you can see all the silver sides are facing towards the loop of the eye pin. So I'm going to make continue with that until I've got enough on there. So as you can see, all the silver dragons are facing this way. You'd then do another dragon row with your gold and this time we're going to do the gold side facing towards the loop of the eye pin. I'll just pop three on so you can see which effect I'm creating here. So when we look at that one, we have all the gold faced uh, dragon scales facing upwards with the gold seed beads in between. And on this one, we have all the silver with all the silver in between. And we're gonna create rows of these so that you get the combined effect running side by side. So we're going to do two of each of these and you need 12 of the dragon beads on each of the uh, rows of eye pins. So I have three on that one. Three. Six. Nine. 12. I've got an extra seed bead and an, a space missing between those two. So do keep an eye out when you are working to make sure you don't end up with uh, beads missing because these dragon scales are very fine to work with but very pleasant. Keep an eye on how many you've got, two, four, five. Okay, so now I'm going to just straighten my eye pin as I was a bit tough on it and it's gone squiffy. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I've got an extra bead so we can take that one off. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And my loop. So we're going to do the same that we did for just the seed bead rows. So we're cutting away the excess wire at the top and we're making sure that we create the parallel loop as to the bottom one there. So I'm going to take that away. And then using my round nose pliers I'm going to make a loop here. And if we flip that up, you can see we've got all the gold running down. So we're going to do that again. So another one with gold and another, we're going to complete that one and then another. So we've got two of each, two gold, two silver. Okay. Okay. So we've progressed and got our rows done. So I'm going to start with the gold. 
and then the silver. So go for the uh, beads running through the center of that. Gold, silver, gold, and then a silver. So that's going to be the square of my amulet um, when I put them together. Now what we want to do is create our little tiny drops to the side. So we've got eight beads on these and we've used the eye pin as well. So these are going to create our lovely little drops off the bottom of the amulet. So on these ones we're just going to stick with the silver for these to make it easier. So you've got your size 15s and we have our dragon scale beads. In order to pop the base dragon scale one, we're going to open our eye pin. So I'll just move them to the side. So I'm going to use my flat nose pliers and I'm going to support the neck of the eye pin with my thumbnail and just with one movement of my wrist, I'm twisting the eye of the eye pin open. I'm going to take one of the dragon scale beads. As I say, these are very tiny quite fiddly and I'm going to pop that on whoops I'm going to try using the pliers so I've put that on the loop of the eye pin and I'm just going to close that back together again like so next I'm going to put the next seven dragon scales with a seed bead in between each seven there yes we have so seed bead in between each and we're going for all the dragon scales in the same direction with the silver so it's going to go gold to the bottom and silver to the top And we're doing the same we did last time. So we take a finger width off our amulet and I'm going to create my drop. Just as we did on the others, like so. So I've got my two drop pieces and the frame of the amulet that we've already put together. So these are going to cause, create my drops. And we're going to thread the sides now. Open another eye pin. Connect the drop onto that eye pin and then you're going to close that back together again. And this is where our Druk beads come in. So I've got that connected now, the links together, and I'm going to pick up one of my first Druk beads. Above the Druk, I'm going to add the bottom of the amulet row, like so, and again another Druk. Now they will spin round at this point, but don't worry. We'll correct that when we get to the other side. So I've got my druk and again another druk in between each of my rows. And to finish with one more druk bead. I'll lay that down. And you can see how that's going to sit now with the drop bead in between each one. As I say, these are all spinning around at the moment, so you don't need to be too concerned. We'll correct where they're sat before putting the final loop on the other side. As we've done for all the others, we're going to hold that, take away the excess wire above, and we're going to make a loop at the top of here. So 
that will eventually connect to our chain. Twist that back and we're going to flip that round to do the other side. So if we go for this being the back of the amulet, you'll notice I've got some of these dragon beads here that are going out the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is just make sure before I finish this side that all the dragon scales are sitting facing the front. This can be a fiddly one, so just be patient and get them all the right way. So if we flip that amulet, you can see all the dragon scales are facing correctly. And then we're going to cut the excess wire off and create our loop. Like so. To finish the amulet, we're going to use the chain. So this was a 16 inch chain and I'll be just cutting straight through the middle of that 16 inch and connecting each side. If you wanted to, you can obviously choose a longer chain to have the amulet sitting lower or obviously you can take length off the 16 inch and make that shorter still. So I've just cut the chain directly in half for the 16 inch and to connect it, we're going to use the jump rings. So we had the four millimeter jump rings. To open the jump ring, you're just going to take one side of the jump ring in your flat nose pliers with the split facing upwards. And using the second pair of flat nose pliers, you can open that jump ring up, connect that on to the loop on the amulet and onto the last link on the chain. The chain actually already has a fastening on it and I would, well I have just used the same fastener. So this side is the um, loop and this one has the bolt ring fastener. And we're going to then be able to connect them together to finish the necklace off. So I've popped that second jump ring on there, close that together. That's your fastener with the bolt ring. If you have a preference to your clasps that you want to work with, obviously choose which one you prefer. So we've got the bolt ring and that gives you the amulet on chain. Thank you for watching our tutorial today. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe now to our YouTube channel where you can see all of our latest designs. To get the beautiful beads that we sell, go to beadsjar.co.uk. Until next time, bye!